Hello everyone, welcome back to another Paint With Me video. Um, this time we're going to do something a little bit different. I, uh, well, I didn't film the whole process for this one, it was just little snippets, but I didn't really want to make a short because personally I'm not uber fond of YouTube shorts. Um, but, you know, that's just kind of what folks are rolling with. So today we're going to be painting a chimera or a chimera or a chimera, however you want to pronounce it. I know everybody says it different, so I'll just hit all the bases there. <laughs> um, but today I want to talk a little bit more of why we paint, all right? Like, I don't have this creature at all in my campaign. You know, you just grab a figure, you think it'll be fun. You know, sometimes you stand there and you look, you're like, oh man, how am I going to get to this nook? How am I going to get to this cranny? This is going to be a pain, but it's going to look really cool. And so we pick it up off the shelf and we grab it. Another thing for me is I always wanted to be very art focused. I wanted to be, I don't want to say I want to be a creative because that sounds so cliche. Um, but I was not good at art. I can do sketches and things, but if I go and try and draw a portrait of the characters I'm playing for a campaign or something, they look like discarded Disney <laughs> uh, character designs. They're, they're not great at all. And so for me, painting miniatures is a way for me to add some form of control into art, um, but it's already on a base that's, that's started. And sometimes people will say that kind of lessens it. You know, you're not really you're, you're just coloring it in. It's like a, it's like a 3D coloring book. Um, but I think there's some liberty you can take with it. And I think it's an artistry in, in its own right. Um, especially when you get into some of the larger paints or, you know, a full 40K set or something like that. Now, for me, the other thing is painting calms me down. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do anymore where I can just sit for hours and, and work on it. You know, even playing video games, I have to take a break after 40 minutes. A um, little bit about me, I am a Marine Corps veteran. Um, and painting is a way for me to just shut the brain off, right? You don't, like, you're completely and entirely focused on exactly what's at hand, you know, my running joke with my husband is, is, is exactly like shooting. There's tiny little bits where you have to wait to stop breathing to paint a small little corner or an eye or something like that. And then you keep going. It's it's a hyper focus activity where everything else just just shuts off and, and that's all you're doing. Um, and for me, that's extremely relaxing. Um, it calms me down a lot, you know, as opposed to others where they can't sit there and paint and focus because, I mean let's let's be real this isn't for everybody sitting and painting tiny figures i mean obviously the the larger ones like like this monster here are much more calming whereas if you get oh i don't know a, a halfling warrior that somebody wants to play and they have all these color combos that they want and then you paint it up and it just it's just a pain sometimes and i i can understand that with somebody that's born with bear paws a hundred percent but I'm curious down in the comments if you guys want to say why you paint. Some of you may only do it just because you need figures for your campaign. And I respect that. Some folks, you know, like me, there's there's another reason why why they like painting, even if it's not something they're ever going to use. So we finished this little guy up. There's a little bit more work I want to do on him, but I think he's a pretty good addition to the collection. Um, really like how the wings came out. I do want to do a little bit more shading and, and detailing, though. But yeah. Here's my little collection and starting to grow and I hope you all have a wonderful day and you enjoy yourselves and be well.